The purpose of this screen recording is to show you how to take the text that you have in front of you, either on a web page or in the pages application, and have it spoken to you. So we're in Safari right here, and um, I have just randomly chosen this Wikipedia article on bears, and I can say edit. So you're always going to find the speech portion in the Apple products under the edit menu up here. You're going to do edit, speech, start speaking, and it will start at the top. Bear from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. This article is about the placental family. For the koala and extinct bear-like marsupials, see Fasquilarctidae. And so if I want to stop it, I click here. stop speaking. I'll do that again just so you... You see start and stop so you just go to edit start and stop there's not a keystroke command for it you have to actually click so you can have it like this with all the pictures and all the stuff if you go right here it says show reader view and now you just get it slimmed down this would be good for a site that has ads or whatever you don't want all that distracting stuff the only thing with this is it's going to start reading right here and even if i go to highlight well i can highlight this i think let's see speech start speaking let's see what happens bear and it will only do what's highlighted so if you don't want this you can do this now if i keep go like i can keep going and it should take these two um, paragraphs. Bears are mammals of the family Ursidae. Bears are classified as caniforms or dog-like carnivorans, with the pinnipeds being their closest living relatives. So you can see that you you know everything's right here in the edit menu. And then actually, I have this pages document up, and just similarly, I have the cursor here. You have to have the cursor in the you know blinking in the document you can't have it like out you can't it has to be engaged like this so you have to click on the document again edit speech start speaking vendor information sheet registration go to http colon slash slash www.ieah-berwyn.com slash tickets dot html and use the code sponsor you may have chose um, and a lot of times i will use that speaking back to listen to what I've written so that I can find the mistakes that I've made. Sometimes, you know, you read it, you look at it so long, you had something in your head, you know, you or your, something that the spell checker doesn't catch. And if you just have it, you just listen back to it and have it read to you, then you can actually check your own work um, pretty efficiently. So that's how you get text to turn into speech.